welcome to the video. I want to share with you today, I want to say that spiritually speaking, when we have negative parents or negative people in our lives, that actually spiritually speaking is actually not a negative thing but it's actually a positive thing and it's therefore and designed so we can grow and evolve mentally, emotionally, spiritually. It helps us to grow and expand life. In case you haven't noticed, it's not all like totally easy, flat line of peace, ease and simplicity and comfort, comfort zones and and no challenges and everything's just already in place for us. <laughs> it's not a place of security. Everything is changing in flux. Everything is coming and going. There's complete instability. That's the nature of the physical universe, the board game, the, the game of life that our soul pops into from the spiritual realm. So spiritually speaking, it's good. Don't view your problems that you call problems, your challenges as negative. View it as positive opportunities for expansion and growing and practicing new tools in this board game of life. It's for your development, and your growth, and your new positive, new more positive elevated experience. So, let's say you have an issue, a problem, which let's say your parents or workmate or family or somebody else. Just, or it could be a loss in life, like a loss of health or a loss of money. Like I've gone through absolute rock bottom health and complete and utter loss of money over all my savings over 100,000 euros, over $120,000. I went from as fit as a fiddle, as strong as an ox, to increpid cripple. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> serious stuff, serious business. So, they and other things made me grow up fast, and at the age of 33 now, Christ's age, I, I'm living a very positive, empowered life overall. I've had so much practice in this game, this board game. I've, we've, sev we've seven major chakras, and some of them with our problems with our parents, for example, it's an opportunity to practice our throat chakra and open it up so we communicate and express, and also to practice these little things here and to listen to and to open and practice our heart, do it all with the heart, do with our other lower chakras of power, independence, self-autonomy, um, self-esteem, courage, bravery, um, knowing our own natural healthy entitlements, boundary issues. So you, it's your own power and sense of self and uh, respect as, as well as a sense of power and individualism in a, in a positive way along with communicating from your heart. So you can see why it's very opportunistic now. I, I called it an opportunity. So I wish you to go forward in your life and conquer your challenges with a loving, positive, accepting, grateful attitude but also still allow all emotions such as anger. That's part of the process. That's part of the, the lower chakras. You don't want to be trodden on. You don't want to be abused, mistreated, exploited, lied to. That's, that's where anger and these other emotions come up to protect us and to develop new boundaries. That's a warrior spirit or a warrioress spirit. Combine it with heart, combine it all gracefully together and you kick ass. So, I wish you for kicking ass in life and I wish all the best. Lots of love and do share, subscribe, leave your comments please as much as you wish. Give us a like to promote the video and promote my channel. I'm grateful and I thank you. And for one to one coaching or for my herb shop, I do spiritual life coaching. And I have books, you can see all the links below as well as my other channels by the way. I have some other channels you might like so on various different things such as health. Um, my own personal journey, my own personal vlog, or my own personal life, health, um, and just pure spirituality as well. So uh, I'll leave you and love you and have a great day, guys. Thanks for your time and love, and see you again next video.